in the comments, somebody asked me if I had a diagram to make the motor auto reversing. I didn't have uh, really a clue how to do it. And I didn't want to Google it or YouTube it. I wanted to figure it out on my own. Um, it sounded interesting. And um, I went up and started playing with this mock-up I have here. And I figured out something that I thought would work. And I'm using this small blue relay right here. We'll talk more about that at the end. And I'll put the diagrams up at the end also if you want to pause them to look at them. Um, I don't think it's very good for the motor to do that, especially this motor. This is just a motor I use uh, for these little experiments. So this is the wiring diagram for it. You have your power supply, whatever you're using. I'm using a battery. It's going to go through a switch. And then I just use the switch to tee off everything. You got to go to the V side of that relay. And then we need to go to the common side of the relay. This is the trigger side. This is our switch side. And then here we're going to go through and jump her through all the relays. So we're going to the common on this side and then we're going to the uh, normally open on this side when the relays are not energized. And then your negative side, we have to go to the ground side and then we need one on the trigger. Actually the trigger is going to come through these switches here. So when one of these switches closes, it'll send a signal to the trigger. This is feeding those switches. And then of course we've got to feed the other side of the coil for the relays. And then here on our reversing polarity relays, I've just used a little jumper here. So when you're wiring this, this is the coils don't use up very much amperage, so you can use a smaller wire here and then a bigger wire that you need for where we need for the load. So this is the positive wiring diagram. Once again, going to the switch, then out to the switch to this relay and then to these relays. So you can just see just the positive side. And now this is the negative side of the wiring. So once again, feeding this relay, feeding these switches, these are gonna come back to the trigger side and then to the coils and then to the center post here, which is closed when these are not energized. This diagram shows the active circuit. So if we go through and close this switch, we're gonna see where all the hots go. Um, the magnets here, so it's gonna trigger this and close this relay here, which sends power to the coil here, which is gonna move um, this relay, this switch. So it's gonna go from here to here, which is gonna move this relay. We're gonna energize this relay here. So this one stays negative. And then this one's gonna to turn to positive, making the motor run in a certain direction. Now this is if we move the magnet to the other switch, we're gonna trigger that relay again, which is gonna open it this time, which is gonna de-energize this one, which is then gonna activate this relay. So this relay will be energized, and then this post becomes positive. This one will stay negative, it's not energized. And this makes the motor run in the opposite direction. Okay, let's see if we can make sense of this mock-up and the actual wiring. The negative side from the battery. This wire is going to the battery. This wire I have feeding. One's going to the coils, which are jumped across. The other wire is going to the load part that's gonna feed the motor. And those are 
jump across to the center here. It's just on these relays here for that one. We need a negative on each side of the coil on all those relays, including this one down here. Okay, the next wire we have here is gonna feed our switches. Okay, so I have one here and one here and they're paralleled here. And then I've got to feed this relay, which is the center post here. Okay, so that's all our negative. For the positive side, I'm going to a switch. We've got to have some way to turn this thing on and off. So a positive from the battery to the switch. And then out of the switch, we got to feed the V side of this relay. We've got to feed the common port to this relay. And then the other side, we're feeding just like in the diagram here, and then it jumps over to here and jumps over to here. Our motors are down here. All right, so see the diagram. I know there's a mess here, but you can see that. And then what's happening here is this post is feeding this relay. The middle post is feeding this relay. Um, sorry, these are red wires, but this is going to be negative, which is feeding the trigger. Okay, so this one is feeding the trigger of this relay to change the state of that relay. So when I turn the switch on, you'll see the motor is turning a certain direction. So we would have something connected from here that's moving this magnet, whatever you're trying to move. And then when it goes to this position here, you notice it turns the other way. So we can go back and forth. This is the diagram for the little blue relay. I've got my positive coming in on the common and then my uh, other wire is going to the normally closed that feeds another relay. And then on the other side here, your VCC is your 12 volt up here it says 6 to 24 i'm using 12 volts and then the middle post is your ground and then the t is your trigger so every time that sees a signal so when that magnet's moving it closes one switch it sends a signal then it closes the other switch it sends a signal and it changes the state of that little relay so this is just an up close of the actual relay you can see your tg and v and then your Normally closed, common, and normally open. So there's probably a better way to do this. Uh, this is what I came up with, with what I had on hand. It works. If you know of a better way, let's post it so we can all keep learning. Thanks for watching.